Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Rebecca, Becky Bex, whatever you guys like to call me. In today's video, for the first time on my channel, I am going to be doing a box of goth unboxing. I am super excited to be unboxing this. So if you guys don't know what box of goth is, basically box of goth is a gothic subscription service and inside their boxes tend to contain jewellery, hair accessories, bath accessories, that kind of thing. Not only majority of their stuff is homemade, but they also tend to collaborate with small little companies and people in general who tend to make their own jewellery, which is really, really nice. So not only they support themselves, but they support other little brands and people who tend to make home jewellery as well, which is really, really nice. So it's the best of both worlds. And every month, they tend to do different themes. So from what I've seen, they've done a spider theme, they've done a bat theme, they've, they've even done a Tim Burton theme, which is really cool. Oh, and an Adams Family theme, which looks really amazing. I wanted to get that one, but unfortunately I didn't have enough money and it was sold out. So I was quite sad about that one, but they do different themes every single month. Now I believe my box cost about I think it was 25 pounds, including shipping. I'll leave a link in the description bar below so you can guys go on their website and check it out for yourself. This is not sponsored by Boxer Goth. They're not paying me to make this video. I'm doing this for my own fun and leisure. So let's crack into this box. So if you guys are gonna enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. So. Let's crack into this box of goth unboxing. Okay, well first off, can we just admire the packaging? Not only this is decent quality cardboard, but this is in the shape of a coffin. Like, the packaging to this is amazing. I've actually seen people on Instagram reusing these boxes for like, making, I don't know, I've just seen people, I've seen people reusing these boxes, these coffin boxes, for their own leisure, making them into things. I've already cut the sides because I tried to open this box before filming and it was impossible. So I had to get some scissors to cut the side. So I'm just gonna open the box. Oh. So, give you a little sneak peek inside. Oh, we got a note there. We've got a note on the front of it. I'll just take that out and read that, but it's a little sneak peek. <laughs> So I'll just pop that down there. So yep, yeah, first off we've got a little note. Let's see what it says. So it says, we hope, we hope you are well. Thank you so much for your support, especially at this time. It means a lot to a small business, small business like us. Apologies for the dispatch delay that there, can't read that bit there. This box has tried to drive us, has tried to drive us back. We hope you enjoy, stay safe. And you've got the two owners right down the corner there. So this is the little note. I think that's so, so cute. I love it when these, these small companies put a little note to everyone. I think that's so adorable. Oh my gosh. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave that down there. So first item we have in the box is, oh, it's a tote bag. Oh, it's a tote bag, look. Got a little tote bag here. So that's really cute. Oh, smells really good as well. Oh, I bet they've got a soap product in there. But that's the first item and I love the design. They have this design on their Instagram page. So I did forget to mention this, this themes box, the one that I bought is the bat themed. So this just gives you guys a rough idea of what's inside their box. So by the time I've shown you guys everything, they this box might be sold out, but don't worry. They tend to bring the bat theme back and they tend to have amazing other themes as well. This just gives you guys a nice rough idea of what's inside their boxes. So, so I just thought I'd mention that before we carry on. So the next one in the box. Oh, it's a little sign. Beware, the old bat is back. That's cute. That's cute. So that's a little sign there. So we've got this here. This is a little bat face. Oh, it's one of those things that you put on your t-shirt, you iron it and it gets stuck on your, you can put it on your trousers or your t-shirt. So, oh, it smells really good. Um, but this, that's really cute. You can put that on your clothes. That's really, really cute. 
and next in the box we have fizzing bath salts in twilight opium vegan friendly so you tend to have a little bag of bath salts there oh my god that's what smells really good this reminds me of a perfume i think i've got i've got so many perfumes up there but reminds me of a perfume that smells really good that smells so so good and then we've got this Ooh, i think it's a little necklace in here what is a little necklace Ooh, i'm just gonna get out the bag that is cute oh my god it's a little hanging upside down bat at first i looked i thought it was like a cocoon but it's not it's a bat that's cute oh that's so cute i love bats me I, I absolutely love bats i've got bats in my hair actually right now these were from claire's a couple of years back what else have we got in here oh another necklace and this has got and this has got like little vampire teeth in it very vampire -y kind of theme so i like that because i love vampires right what else is in here okay oh we got a little center shock green spider so i think that's a little sweet yeah it's a it's a confectionery item so we've got a little sweet there oh and then we've got this little cardboard print it says we are the children of the night so that's really cute it's got a bat bat print on it and it's got like a little it's got like a little heart there and rose. So you can have this framed or you can slip this on your fridge if you wanted to. So that's cute. What else is in here? Yes! Look at these bat wings! Oh, that is cool. Oh my god, I wear a lanyard to work and these are going to be badass on my lanyard. Because you can have one wing on one side and wing on another. These, these are not earrings, these are actual pins. So you can pin them on your t-shirt or stuff. So you can have one pin on one side. Not on your t-shirt one on one side one on the other or you can just wear a lanyard if you have a lanyard at work or something so we have a little pin here with little bats on it really cute something else on my lanyard and it comes with these like it comes with these like little bats inside as well so i'll show you so it's got these like little bats in here as well and these have got like stickies on the back of them so you can stick them on your your notebook or might even stick these on my drawers actually to make them like customizable but these are really cute and the last item i can see in here is a cute little bat key ring this is beautiful this will go on my keys for sure oh no no tell a light tell a light this is the last item so i'm gonna unravel this is this a sticker or oh that's cool so they so this little picture here this just talks about all different bat organizations. So organizations, how you can raise money to save bats. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much the box. Oh yeah, I've got, oh yeah, and I've got one last bat sticky there as well. So that's inside my box. Now the biggest question, which I know you guys are gonna ask me, is this worth the money? Now, honest and truthfully, if you love Gothic things, and you love homemade items and you love like i said you love jewelry hair accessories a bit of skincare bath that kind of thing and you like to support small businesses then i would say that box is a hundred percent worth it if if those items are your kind of thing and you like to support small businesses and you like the fact it's all homemade then then yeah hundred percent definitely worth it but if those kind of items are not your kind of thing then this box won't won't be for you but like i said every month they do do different themes i know they've done like what a zombie theme before and a pumpkin theme before you don't have to be on a permanent subscription service if you don't want to you can just buy the one off box which I think is quite a nice feature because not everyone likes the same theme. So there might be one theme, you think, oh, I really like that. And then the next month they'll do a different theme and you're like, oh, I don't really like that theme. So you can just buy the one-off box. So if you see a theme which you think, oh, I really like that kind of theme, I'll, I'll buy one box because I really like that theme. This, this came from a previous subscription box of theirs a couple of years ago. And this came from a subscription box a couple of years ago, which I really, really like this. And also, actually, have I still got it? I've also got 
this as well from a from a subscription box ages ago. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it's basically a skull's head, but this is a wax melt and it smells like cinnamon. Oh my god, it smells so good. This is this is what I got from their Christmas subscription box. And yeah, I just don't have the heart to melt it because it's so glittery and sparkly. But it's this this is actually a wax melt. So this is what I got from another box as well. But yeah, generally. I love their boxes, I think they're 100% worth it, and when I get the money, I definitely love to buy different themes of theirs here and there. That was my unboxing, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, if you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, please don't forget to subscribe, please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified by all of my future videos, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, link is in the description bar below, and also put a link to the Box of Goth website so you can check out their website. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys, take care.